One of the key things that the James Webb Space Telescope is designed to do is detect the very first stars and galaxies that were born in the very early universe. So this is a part of the universe that we haven't seen at all yet. We don't know what's there. The more distant in space we look, the further back we're looking in time. With Hubble, we're able to push back and see pretty far into the distant universe, but we do reach a limit. And so we're designing the James Webb Space Telescope to see past the point where Hubble can see and to see the very first stars and galaxies to light up after the Big Bang. We know that there is a time in the universe's past where the galaxies were the first to light up. Basically, the stars in the galaxies send out ionizing radiation, which clears out the fog of the hydrogen in the universe. And so once that hydrogen fog is cleared out, then the stars and galaxies can shine through. And so getting to that point, just beyond what we call the dark ages, is one of the major goals of the telescope.